Well, it's, it's an interesting question about what do you do after I get a high school? Do I go to film school or do I try and go and PA on a show and kind of figure out what, you know, what the heart, you know, the school of hard knocks. Um, I, I, I like the way, uh, I like the, the road that I traveled, which is basically I got into school. However, I wasn't into, wasn't into film. I was going to be a doctor. So uh, as an end result, I went to work for my junior year for the Osmond Studios for Donnie and Marie. And, and I found that, you know, 16, 18 hours worth of study versus, you know, really getting into the entertainment business or something. I found that I really liked it, really enjoyed it, uh, loved it versus I felt uh, my, my job of trying to get in med school was more of a task. And much to my parents' chagrin, I chose the entertainment business. And so the one thing, though, is that I got an education. And then I decided I was fortunate enough that midway through that education process, I made a major decision, which was, okay, I want to do the entertainment business. In my junior, my senior year, I was about to take my medcats. And so um, my, my advice is get an education to anyone. You know, go to college, get an education if you can. But if there's any way to do an internship or go work as a PA or something like that during the summer, or if you have an opportunity, I'd almost defer school for a year if you were able to get on a picture, simply because you come out of that process knowing really what everyone does and what you want to do. You know, um, a lot of people say, oh, I want to be in your business, but they don't know what they want to do. And half the thing that turns people off in the business is okay someone someone wants to be in the movie, movie business but they don't know what they want to do so uh for a high, high school kid i was fortunate enough after i got into it to eventually get into the director's guild training program which is for anyone who has a you know personality and smarts and you know can work you know work well with others it's a slam dunk towards you know getting a job on a consistent basis. It really is because uh, people like you, they like your personality, you'll keep on going. And in the Director's Guild training program, you just meet people along the way. Even though you're a trainee, you meet other assistant directors. And if you're fortunate enough to work with the best, which I was, then what happens if, if they like you, then they will keep on moving you out. So I'm, I'm sort of an ideal path road. Uh, for, uh, you know, I got an education, I got into the director's skill training program, then I kept on going. Uh, it usually doesn't work that way. So my suggestion is get the degree, and then uh, whatever that degree is, because, you know, there are writers who get who are English majors, you know, uh, my, my eventual degree was psych psychology with an emphasis in organizational behavior. So this was kind of like you know, this was my forte in the sense that, okay, you know, how to, how to interview, how to uh, deal with people. It was, it worked well for me. But uh, that's what I would say. Uh, if you get a chance, work for free, work as a PA, and above all else, be persistent. You know, you, uh, you can't be the producer on the first go. But it's, uh, it's important for you to know uh, what everyone does because, You'll find that, you know, yeah, you want to be a producer, then you realize, well, producers have some control, but it seems like that guy, the director, seems to have all the control. So that might be something for you guys who are control freaks out there. But uh, for, for uh, others, you might be just, you know, a cameraman. It's a wonderful position. It's a wonderful job. Uh, again, especially if you get along well with others because you're going to be working with tough directors sometimes. Uh, but it's it's great to to see your your lighting style up there on the on the big screen. So there's a lot of avenues. It's just that the word persistence seems to be the most maintained. You don't you know it's the freelance market, so you don't always have a job every single day. You have a job for the length of a film if you're a PA, which may be three or four months. Then you're wondering the last two weeks, okay, what am I going to do? So, I would say get an education. I'm being, uh, you know, I'm being redundant. Get an education. Uh, the opportunity 
go out there and, and uh, you know, knock on doors to get in. Even if you can't get in, I'm sure you always know somebody who can get you on a set. I've, I've done that with uh, a lot of people who have called me, friends, obviously, whose sons and daughters are now wanting to make a decision. I've said, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll get you on a set. They can observe for 24, you know, however long, two weeks, three weeks. Uh, you know, they don't have to do anything. And they've taken advantage. Some have taken advantage of this. That's not for a blanket, by the way. That's not a blanket invitation. But uh, but some people have uh, some people have actually had their kids on the set. And they've come back and emailed me and said, fantastic, you know, what I wanted to do originally. It's not now that I look at what they do, maybe that's not what I want to do. So they've gone back with a set of open eyes.